Okay, I just wanted to share this uh, with uh, people that are watching what I'm doing here with the bearing project. Uh, this is the uh, pyrolytic graphite bearing, which is uh, a floating, uh, free floating in a magnetic field that is uh, being uh, rotated using electrostatics. This is a high voltage capacitor with a couple thousand volts in it. It sets up a high charge on one side and then a ground side on the other side. Now using Coulomb effect, uh, the electrons get transferred to this. The pieces repel one another. It goes over here. It discharges and round and round we go. If I had a way, an efficient way to convert the solar energy or the light energy into the high voltage efficiently enough, I could keep this running indefinitely because there is no wear on that bearing. Um, that bearing is just strictly a pyrolytic graphite floating in a uh, magnetic field, uh, plus and minus in that permanent magnet field, and that pyrolytic graphite floats in that field. And then uh, the electrostatics set up the motion. And uh, it's very, very efficient doing it this way if you can get the high voltage. Now, if I had an antenna in a place where I could put up some sort of a high altitude antenna stably, I could get that from the atmosphere, which is what a laser saver has done. He's shown how you can get, if you get an antenna high enough, you can develop enough uh, plus minus charge like the Ben Franklin bells to make an electrostatic motor run. But the thing about that is I'm pretty sure that would run. Um, there is no wear on these um, brushes. They, they tap that in such a way that they don't wear, especially with a graphite rotor. Um, it's just brief, very, very brief tapping on that brush system, and the thing doesn't wear out. I've run them for many, 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 many hours with no appreciable wear on the brush, whatever. You can actually, if you set this up close enough, have no contact with it, and this would run uh, without having any contact with any surface whatsoever. Uh, electrostatically. Anyway, that's just what I wanted to share. I'm still working on this bearing project. Thanks for watching.